my friend Jean Serge Gagnon here. Well, it's official. I'm officially in the Chrome Boss Elite program by Kim Kim C. Dang. As you can see right here, she's got a lot of testimonials. She really knows how to do this. But you know what? If you're listening to this, if you're here, then you are in for a treat because I've actually had a conversation with her and she's okay with me teaching it. Obviously, I'm not gonna um you know plagiarize what she's doing you can see her own uh program it is available you can I don't know if it's open right now but she opens it once in a while and it is a four thousand dollar program right so it's an expensive program but if you want I will teach you what I'm doing how you can do it too how you can get these kinds of results I mean it's totally insane fourteen hundred dollars after a couple of days fifteen hundred dollars after this this uh, person here had gotten it uh, sold YouTube I'm not sure how long but oh there well I guess I don't know what the date was on this post oh J April 21st so the July so about six months I guess um that income but like I said it's totally insane and how can you do this how can you do this we're going to talk about the process and what it takes to start your own business with no technology not even you don't have to be a programmer you don't have to know any of it and we're going to get to that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So Kim C. Dang has put together something called the Chrome Boss Elite Academy. It's all about building your own business using a simple software to start. You know, instead of like if you think about somebody like Russell Brunson talking about uh, click funnels and like me I'm like oh my god I'm gonna start my own business I'm gonna have my own website my course hosting site and everything and I've put it together it's totally insane I, it's been two years since I've been building it I'm still building I'm still growing it I'm still getting people to be interested in using it I'm still it's a lot of work and it's a lot of just to get people in is is a lot of work right so if if uh if you want to have your own business you really have to start small when you listen to i actually well i've been listening to russell brunson's books forever and yeah before we get into that let me just remind you if you're listening to the audio of this make sure to go to cis uh 320 so cis 320.jsgagnon.com to go check out the audio at uh, the video the video and the blog post because i'm going to be sharing my screen showing you things talking to you about this whole thing um in a way that is a lot more complete right but still the audio is going to give you a good uh good good information okay so what's the chrome boss elite academy program it's a program that kim c dang has put together many years ago definitely go and check her check her out go find her on facebook on other platforms and go connect with her and if you're interested in joining her program then go ahead i i think she is amazing um and uh it's it's definitely worth the investment because you'll get that in return however if you're starting out and you're still not sure or maybe you'd rather work with me then let's uh let's get into the some of the basics of what we're going to talk about so when I when I say what are the five steps what are the five simple steps to building your own business using software right so the first the first step, let's actually put in put a um a, a little notebook here I'm going to go in here I'm going to share my screen let's share the screen desktop there you go okay so I'm just going to share the screen here I'm going to create a new little uh document for notes notes right okay so the five steps right what are the five steps to building your own software business right your own software business without being a programmer or knowing anything <laughs> anything about online business so uh, or I should say about chrome extensions chrome extensions right so what is it that what are the five steps right so number one 
it is find your idea right it's basically you got to find your idea you got to find out you got to have an idea and it's it it can be a sim it's got to be as simple as possible um like for me I'm going to be building a chrome extension that uh, just captures comments from posts so I'm going to be able to specify a post I want to get these comments in in, the, in a spreadsheet and then I can do other things with that right with the spreadsheet I can look at you know who's who's commenting on my stuff all the time um uh, how many times how how often they're being commented on and I can use that to do things like giveaways right I'll say say for example I'm going to say I'm going to give 50 bucks to whoever comments on this post with the most uh, uh a positive statement about me about what they think about my uh content right so if you post a nice comment about me you get a chance to win 50 bucks right so I'm going to maybe I do something like that but then how do you pick out of the 50 or 100 people or 200 people that comment on that post right how do you pick randomly it's a lot of work to to take all that and paste that yourself and manually do it and everything right but it's it's doable but what about having something that just picks the comments up for you and puts them in a spreadsheet for you right that would be cool right that's my idea and you can go ahead and steal my idea doesn't matter to me because the the process is not about having the only one person with this one thing you can even pick a uh, an, an extension that somebody else has already done and you just get it redone with slightly different uh different things and plus the support will be different because it'll be you and etc that kind of stuff so your idea you got to first find your idea so how do you find your idea right um well one of the ways is to go and look at chrome extensions and see what else there is so if i go in my in my extension here so I'm not going to go too much into detail because obviously it, it would take a long time to to really get deep into it but let's just kind of show you if I go to extensions here I'm under more tools there is extensions where you won't you can't see it because it's on the side of the browser but you click on extensions or depending on your browser you might have the extension button at the top here manage extensions right and then in here you see whatever you've got installed in your browser right you can look at what you've got installed or what you've used or you go to the uh, menu here and you just go to the chrome visit open chrome so now you could you could google for that and go find it but that's one way to go there right so you can look at what is popular uh you can say for example uh, works with google drive you can do uh let's say runs offline categories i don't know let's look at that developer tools productivity photos social and communication let's look at what's in there our top picks let's just look at this so this is one way to get ideas you just look at what's there what's popular what's getting lots of lots of comments official we hired at google extension um linkedin extension uh that's interesting okay um later highly uh, fuzz for chrome read reddit so there's a lot of stuff that has to do with different social platforms um and that's one way to search and look through that there's other there's other places you obviously can do a google search so best chrome extension <coughs> uh best chrome extension best free chrome best chrome extension of 2020 tom's guide best chrome extension 2021 zdnet so you can look at those to give yourself ideas but you can also think about just you know, what do you do as an online marketer as an as a course creator what do you do online that you find tedious that you'd like to automate right there's lots of things you can think of and for me like I said I'm just going to do a chrome extension that just picks up comments so eventually I'll do others and it'll just become a business but how do you get that done because let's go back to my little notes my little notes over here so number one is find your idea right so you gotta first find your idea if you if you have trouble finding an idea I can help you with that let's have a conversation I can help you find an idea for a great Chrome extension so number two number two is you got to get somebody to build it right so find a developer you need to find a developer a programmer right and so how do you find the developer I mean there's like there's uh there's different sites where you can actually go and find somebody right you can post in Facebook groups uh I've done I've done postings in groups like say for example if I go to Facebook right and I go to facebook.com and I'm looking for a chrome extension developer now I'm not 
I'm not saying that that's what you should do because I'm actually not uh, prom, prom, um, suggesting that as as the best way to do it but it is one way so if I go in here and I just say chrome extension developer right I'll just do that just see who's on here who's who is in a group and that might be not a bad thing to do but I'm just going to go in groups here and as you can see there's lots of this is Kim Dang's Kim Dang Kim Dang's things Chrome extension developers there's 11 members in here Chrome apps and extension development Chrome extensions um the disappearance of crystal official okay, that's nothing to do with anything Google Chrome extension developers at 28 so there's not a lot of people in these groups right but you could maybe uh, join those groups to go find out um who's in there that's that could do a good job right you never know if you go into one of these Chrome Boss Elite is the the paid group uh Chrome extension developers let's just go in here and see who's in here uh it's a public group which means I can see the kinds of things integrate subscription uh, does anyone know a platform I can buy ads for people that know people so there's 11 people in here I don't know who it is members they're just people that are out there that are this is uh, so these are just uh, people that are in the in this particular group I have no idea whether this group is but uh, but my point is you can find people in the in in Facebook the other place you can go to is uh, where's my uh so find the developer um so the other thing that you have to realize is that you can actually find a developer let's just say okay look find your idea so uh, search search on in, in google in google for ideas look in chrome extension store uh, there's also specialized specialized search engines that exist right so for example there's a chrome uh what's it called it's called chrome flicks I believe chrome flicks yeah chrome flicks.net so that's a site where you can actually go and look and you can look at chrome flicks.net uh they can show you the extensions uh if I go trends mode I can see uh people uh, I can see whoops it's loading up I can see user growth so the ones that are having the most work I can look at this mobility print captain online I can look at these different things Pinterest save button right so that kind of shows me some ideas and then you can there's even a is there is it in here behind the scenes I thought there was a do, 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 get started it's home there's a get ideas too someplace where is it reviews you can you can pay for additional features well maybe it's a oh, marketplace I don't know what that is but uh how do we do this we talk with this learn more focus flow best software deals out there oh there's ads here too oh these are okay I see and then uh your logo do you do do you too have a comment submit you can actually have your own submit yours by hitting the bit button below so that's uh that's another place you can search for ideas right so you can get ideas here on chrome flicks like chrome flicks.net chrome flicks.net so you can do that so that's you get your idea right so get your idea and also like the other thing I was saying is to get your idea you should think of what you do uh, every day you'd like automated right so think about things you do every day like you know uh going uh, there's some automation that isn't that is kind of frowned upon right but it's still doable depends on the platforms depends on what you're trying to accomplish um for example you could have a, an extension that's that goes through your messenger messages and if the message that was sent is happy birthday for example just mark it as red right so that you don't have to you know like me I get a, I, I get a hundred a, a 200 messages on my birthday to to wish me happy birthday because people you know they just click the button and wish wish happy birthday right or they just send a little thing and that's great thanks for that but the problem is that when you have 100 200 messages it takes a while to go th to go through them right so if you could just automate that to just at least say 
thanks to people who have sent you that then you could do that right but you got to be careful there's you got to make sure you have limits and but then anyways, that's where the developer comes in okay so number two find the developer so find the developer that will do it for 100 or let's just say 200 or less because they could actually do it for 50 bucks it depends on how complicated your extension is but you can find a developer that'll do it for that price imagine doing an extension that you can you can have with features that are free and then you can have maybe uh, additional features that cost 10 bucks 20 bucks 50 bucks a month right whatever however um valuable your extension is so you can you can find somebody to do it for just a few hundred bucks right or not even like I said the Kim actually talks about how she started with one extension that cost her 50 bucks and then within a month she had a few subscribers paying monthly fees on it right so it's doable it's very 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 doable and when I like I said when I if I look at for example her her um her challenge that you can actually get on right you just go to this challenge here uh just chromebosslive.com you just go there and you can actually join the challenge in uh in chrome extensions right so that's uh where was I marketplace chrome extensions facebook let's go back here to the groups all right so there's a lot of uh John social extension developer okay anyways let's go back here okay so find the developer so where do you find the developer you can uh you can post in Facebook groups that have extension developers Deve developers right you can do that you can uh, go to um, uh, fiverr odesk or uh what's the other one um what's it called uh I got a blank here but the 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 other one that's actually the one I use uh let me see let me go find let me check my this is weird I've got a I got a complete blank memory blank right now uh it is called it is called ah the other one is called upwork so the other option is upwork so in all those different places there's different ways to post for that you're looking for somebody who does a certain something right and um and uh and and so then you can okay and then you can get somebody to work on your project I actually posted that if I go say for example me if I let's just show you if I go to upwork I just posted on upwork an ad for a chrome extension that I'm not going to do because it's a LinkedIn chrome extension if I look at my job uh do, 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 do. Um, mm -mm, all my jobs if I look at the job recently filled how do I how do I find the ones that I didn't anyways if I just look at messages let me just look at messages just kind of show you how crazy active it is and how much you'll get responses so quickly right so if I go here I can show you what I did see look at all these messages I got this is all 22nd 23rd 21st so I actually posted a this is somebody is working with me on something right but it's a separate thing so if I look at the chrome extension this is the one here so a view the proposal <laughs> that might show us uh, the post is closed no longer accepting proposals okay but can I see the job post okay so I posted this job post basically to create a chrome extension on LinkedIn to auto accept connections right so I'm just going to close that so I actually posted it I said I'm going to pay 200 bucks which maybe I should have said 100 but in the end uh, doing chrome extensions for LinkedIn is not recommended so that's kind of why I dropped it but as you can see I had uh does it show here how many proposals so I had if I look at the proposals no I had all proposals archive 16. so I had 16 people within a couple days offer to work on this right everybody uh, uh proposed 200 bucks which was what it was there's a couple of them that <laughs> there's a couple of them that proposed like a lot more and can I see the shortlisted no I guess I'm not really sure 13 archived 
oh those are the archived and then uh, withdrawn so there so you can actually have people say no you know what this is not something I can work on I don't have time I'm too busy which is great then you can see all sorts of different things in here uh, if I look at the the there's another one there's one that's offered see look this guy here said 300 this guy said 2000 totally crazy that they would suggest 2000 when I'm saying I'm going to pay 200 right so why bother they should just not even send me uh, anything but at the same time they might be thinking that I'm willing to pay more but I just started with a low budget right but in a, in any case you can get so many look at that there's so many people but you know the thing is that how do you know who it is that you should work with right how do you know which of these ones are the right ones that's one of the things you will learn in the tr in the full training right but that's the that's the second thing and it's 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 really not hard to find a developer right it's really not hard number three after you've got your developer and you've got after you got your idea and you've got your developer working on it you can actually have it usually within a couple days that your your extension is done so then what you got to do is you got to publish your extension so you got to publish your extension now I'm, I can't get into details on that because I actually haven't done that yet so but I'm working on it right now I'm actually going to be building my own getting my own done and all this stuff is going to happen but you got to get your extension published so that that means getting it getting uh get your chrome developer account set up right you got to do that I know about I know about that because that's one of the things I did then you got to publish your whoops publish your extension in the chrome store right um and then you got to send people you know send people to it so obviously uh you're gonna tell your friends you send to your list or that kind of stuff right or but the thing is that 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 is the part the last part right the last part is well that's I guess yeah so the last part is to um get subscribers right so the idea here is that you're gonna have a chrome extension that every chrome extension is free to install and download so it's gotta it probably needs to do something for free right but the idea is that you're going to want to pay you're going to have people pay for it and you're you might be thinking well nobody's going to pay for it it's th th there's a whole bunch of free extensions whatever whatever I do there's a free extension for it right so if I go for example in my in my uh, chrome extension where is it chrome extension do I have it here no all oh, right I had it here so if I go here back to the chrome store because I opened it and went to a search if I go in here and I search for Facebook comment extractor right let's say I look for that Extra extension emoji Facebook email extractor video download professional whoops extract so I don't even know if there is anything Facebook emoji Facebook why is this not Facebook more extensions Facebook email vid that's pretty cool that nobody has that at least it's not easy to find but I'm no I know there are some because that that's kind of where I got the idea from there's actually some tools out there that do that uh export comments there you go export comments is actually the one that I'm that I saw when I looked for when I did a Google search for it right but this thing here is is free right you can add it to chrome it doesn't cost anything it says there's 939 people using it and but then when you go to their website if you go to their website do they have a website exportcomments.com that's weird it doesn't have a link huh. okay let's go to that website exports exportcomments.com this is an extension pricing look at that so they they have it for free but look at that they can you can have a 200 dollars 50 dollars a month 11 dollars for just three days and that they sell it right it, it it's something that people buy why do people buy it there's always going to be you know the people that want to pay for something that feel that something free means they get no support means they get uh, bad quality means they get something that's not going to work so they're willing to pay for it right so monthly billing or yearly billing 35 a month if you pay for a whole year 165 a month if you pay for the for the whole year right build yearly all right okay build monthly so that's the thing right so if you um 
and that's the thing so you and you, you can you can do this I, I know you can do this you don't need technical knowledge you don't need to be a programmer you don't need to know how to build funnels how to do any of that stuff because I can help you with all that and I'm actually going to be putting it together so get subscribers and number five is repeat 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 right number five is repeat have another extension idea add it to your portfolio eventually you grow to have four five six extensions 10 20 extensions whatever however far you want to take it and if you can think of extensions that are kind of related then it becomes easy to sell the second and the third and the fourth extension to your existing members because even if they're using the free version maybe your extension number two or extension number three they're going to be like oh geez i I'm, I'm willing to pay to get that additional feature of that extension right like me i can do a comment extractor for all the different platforms a youtube extractor a instagram comment extractor a, a, a linkedin comment extractor all these different things they can all be part of my extension portfolio and somebody who wants just one can get it for free but if they want to they want to have um or maybe maybe it lets you extract comments from only three posts or two posts or one post whatever right and then if you want to if you pay extra you can do five posts or 20 posts for the extreme version or whatever I, I don't even know but the idea is that whatever it is I don't have to do it I can just get my programmer to do it I can just find a programmer to do it and how do you know whether the programmer does it well you you know by experience or I can help you I can be in your account being uh you know commenting or replying to questions and letting you know what I think about that particular uh, program or that that program looks like he knows what he's talking about I can help you with that and then you just have them do the extension and after that you just need to publish it so that's really the process now if you want information if you want to actually let me see is that um let's just go back to webcam so if you want information on this if you want to know exactly when I'm going to actually be doing the training I'm going to be doing some training for this um let me just see if I uh have that here okay so that's not the one I actually have a page uh what's it called chrome chrome social Pros. okay so I actually have a domain that I set up for this um just waiting to see what happens here doesn't seem to be loading I'm not sure why not uh, okay I'm gonna have to go look let me just go look at my domains here because I messed something up my computer is being slow I just want to show you where you can register to be notified whenever this becomes live I actually have it uh, no it's not there my computer is always being so I gotta I need to get another computer don't I because I have a lot of a lot of things going on here and it's slowing the everything is slowed down it's gone okay there you go so where is that it is right here right here right here I got it right here and I want to make sure I I don't even remember what <clears throat> I don't even remember which one was the link that I need I should have done that obviously before doing this recording but that's you know sometimes that that happens right so if you go to ah there it is bonus oh I guess right now if we go to bone if I go to bonus one uh, I see I see okay okay mm. oh, I see what happened oh, I see what happened okay okay so if you go to um funnel dot gotta save that first okay 
so we go to well, I gotta save it it's it's there's something going on on this computer as usual to just make things take a long time that's just how it is computers are like that so that's what I'm saying you don't need to be a programmer right <laughs> but if I go to this page let me show you okay Chrome. actually Chrome is let's call it that and I'm gonna put that in here um, mm -hmm. so info. let's call this funnel dot chrome social pros.com okay so that's the one that I'm gonna have another fun another one but for now that's gonna be it let's just go here opacity uh, background is going to be some blue. there you go and of course it has to be smaller there you go so now there you can go there all right funnel.com just let me show you what that looks like and uh go to the desktop so it's funnel there we go what no funnel oh I got two dots okay so if you go there you're going to end up on this page hopefully this will work there we go okay so if you go there you're going to end up on this page desktop okay so ex actually I forgot about the chrome let's do that there we go if you go to that link there you go funnel.chromesocialpros.com right now it says it talks about having a free software basically this extension that I'm going to be putting together I'm going to give it to you for free all you got to do is get on this list to have access to that if you have access if you're on the list you get the first extension I do for free um and uh, I'm gonna probably set up another funnel eventually this will be a different page but go to chromesocialpros.com or funnel.chromesocialpros.com um I'm probably gonna make it maybe just chromesocialpros.com um to do that let's actually I actually gonna fix that that should be just the same whoops I'm on my let's go back to here this is my dns as you can see where I manage all my domains uh, let's just go over here I'm going to put that as a URL direct as I don't know if I can do that with all these let's just do that just gonna make it the same everywhere and then eventually I'll, I'll fix it but for now I'm just going to make all the changes go to the same place so that means if you just go to whoops if you just go to chrome socialpros.com you'll end up on this page so just chrome social pros I'm actually going to edit this uh just make it chrome social pros.com oh no I guess not eh I guess not that didn't work it's redirecting to some other weird site but this is it here so if you just go to chrome social pros.com you should end up on this page as well and that's kind of how it'll be right so there you go that's it go there go there put your email get on the list to be notified whenever I get that in, and it should be just in a few weeks uh, you'll get more information as I get closer to the release all right hopefully you enjoyed and if you have any questions you can always reach out send me a message comment in the comment below if you have any specific questions and we'll have a conversation and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets 
the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.